What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Paint Society, the channel where the learning doesn't stop when the video ends. Today we got an awesome one. <laughs> we see Christmas came a little bit early or late this year. Today we're going to be uh, demoing the uh, GTI Pro by DeVille Bits and stay tuned in the future. I finally broke down. I'm going to give you the Harbor Freight Special. We went from cheap to their Elite Series paint gun, so stay tuned for that. We also have a couple guns here and there that are going to be new to the channel. All right, so today we're going to be working with the uh, Devilibus GTI Pro. Man, the gunman has this as his number one pick, and I had to try it just as well. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it, but we got someone here. Come over here, brother. My neck of the woods. What's Welcome. Up, Appreciate it. Yeah, Bodhi Vision's here. How's it feel? Good, it's crazy. Yeah, it's cool man. To be out here. You've been to my shop many times. Yeah. Right? For me to be out here is a cool change. You know, I want to come back when you paint that when you paint that accord. Yeah. You know, you're welcome. <laughs> and the fact that that's my product, you're welcome to come paint anytime. Yeah. So. Hey, so today uh, it was mentioned on your channel what we're going to be doing. Yeah. Um, we're going to be. Uh, I'm going to give you this bumper, and uh, this is just a uh, black kind of brown metallic bumper. Yeah. You're going to seal it. Okay. You're going to base it. You're going to clear it. I'll probably give you a Techna copper. And then I'm going to paint that one over there. And uh, we're just going to roll in the booth together and paint some bumpers and enjoy our, uh, our collab together. Yeah, sounds like a good time. <laughs> All right. OK, so we are going to open it up. We're not going to use this. Uh, we have the PPS, so uh, you can still use it. It works great. Um, we have the uh, GTI Pro here. I almost bought the uh, replica one, but I'm like, eh, let me be a little bit more authentic. We went with the real one. We're going to give it a try today. I got it with the 1.3. Um, then it comes with your um, cleaning kit. And uh, over in here, yeah, we just have the, uh, we have a 1.4 in here so you can actually switch them out. So we'll get it outfitted. We'll get it into the bo booth and then we'll get some uh, paint laying down. And I got to tell you, it's very, very light. It's the Pro Light, Pro light right there. And we got the TE20. And that's gonna give us just a little bit of peel, but it's still gonna give us a smooth finish. We want that texture for recreating an OEM finish. And I did get the 1.3. It came with an extra 1.4, but the needle, it has one needle for both. With the copper, you had your needle 1.3, 1.4, corresponding tip went along with it. But it looks like for this, it's one needle, fits multiple tips. So we're gonna bring it into the booth and uh, we're gonna see how well it sprays sealer, how well it sprays base, how well it sprays clear. I'm probably gonna be in, in around 25 PSI as the baseline and we'll adjust from there. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is uh, cleaning it with water base. Bodhi's already working on that, cleaning with his water base. Water base cleaner removes the oils from your fingers. Um, wax and grease is gonna remove a silicone something from an engine oil, grease, that type of thing. This is the water base. It's gonna remove the contaminants from your finger. Your fingers, if you had uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken or any type of oil. Well, we naturally have oils on our fingers to begin with. So you wanna make sure that those are all removed and you wanna wipe in one direction. You don't wanna go all over the place because that spreads, spreads contaminants across the whole entire panel. Now we got our solvent base, and I always use solvent base after because I just feel like it leaves a smoother finish. Sometimes the water base on a darker finish can leave it kind of streaky. And this is gonna remove those contaminants from, let's say that this car is being worked on by the mechanic. It's got grease on the bumper, that type of stuff. Um, contaminants from engine oil, all those type of contaminants will be released from this, but we gotta do it in a certain way. The way you gotta do it is you gotta drench it. And by drenching it, that lifts up the contaminants to the surface, and then you wipe them off. That's exactly what you're supposed to do to remove them. So drench it, remove them, remove them. So we'll do that to the whole bumper, and then we're ready to seal it. So we went ahead, we mixed up a uh, sealer. It's a dark sealer. We didn't have exactly every single toner to make it what we wanted. But you could just use black to uh, sealer in this case. It's just to create that nice surface for the base to lie on and seal off our primer edges. So in just a moment, I'm gonna hand this over to uh, Bodhi. He's gonna be using the copper. I'm gonna be using the GTI Pro Lite. I use this gun every day, so I'm gonna see, you know, what's the difference? Do I like it? Do I not? Am I gonna kinda say goodbye to this one and go on to my GT Pro? So as you get ready, I'm gonna put this over here for you. All right. 
You're gonna seal it maybe around 25 PSI. Okay. I have the uh, fluid in about one uh, turn from wide open. Okay. One coat in this system, it'll be covered. It'll cool. be good to go. Sure. So, all right? Yeah, man. All right, cool. All right, so we just saw Bodie, he put some sealer on, that came out good. Now what I'm gonna do for mine is I'm not gonna seal the whole entire bumper because this right here, like I told you in other videos, this is gold. This is not affected, okay? We wanna make sure we preserve that. So my sealer is gonna come up to around here and I'm gonna use a, a high temp reducer. This is a blender, a melt away, to melt away that dry edge. I don't need to use a wet bed on this. If I was blending a panel on a car, I'll use a wet bed, but I can get away just with using this and a slow reducer mixed into my sealer coat. So I'll blend the sealer from here to here. And then when I go to base, you'll see me basing up to here and then purling up to here. Let's give the uh, GTI Pro Light a uh, good honest run for its money and see what it can do with all three of those materials. Okay, so that dry edge is gonna be right around this area because that's where the pattern stopped. So I'll just take this and melt it away. That way it doesn't leave any fuzzy area. And then I'll come over to this side, melt it away. So here's where we're gonna go with the rest of this video. I'm gonna base, I'm gonna pearl. Bodie's gonna base, he's going to clear coat. We're gonna hit the subtitles down below. We're gonna tell you what we're doing at what pressure. Enjoy the rest, let's hit the music, let's go. Yeah, man, so we just finished spraying a clear base. How'd you like it? I think it went really well. I yeah. mean, it's cool to work in a booth like that and just, you can take advantage of it in different ways by, if it stays open a little bit longer, then you can spray a little bit more. If you miss an area, then you can just bake it. Yeah. It's all gonna blend in. That's a luxury that I can't necessarily use. And when I was, I was speaking with you earlier and I was telling him that having a booth doesn't make you amazing either. Right. Because you can go home or you can have here, same issues. You know, it does help keep things open longer, but not unless you apply and you learn, you're not gonna be any good in a booth. So, you know, did you like the gun? Yeah, the guns, I, yeah. I thought they were good. I mean, I couldn't really see a major difference yeah. from one to another, just because I'm only used to using a couple, like, I don't have the vast knowledge of all different guns. I'm just dirty yeah. kind of whatever guns work. So or, I've been using that copper, that Techno Copper for okay. about 15 years, and I can feel that this is lighter. I can feel that this atomizes way better, okay? Yeah. I wish it had a wider fan. It has the same fan uh, size as that copper, but on a rating scale of one to 10, I give it about an eight. And I, I agree. Yeah. I I definitely think that's reasonable. And and I give it an eight for the price as well. Okay. Because it's affordable, it's a great bang for your buck. And we have more reviews of guns uh, coming on the channel, so stay tuned. So 
Man, love what you're wearing. It's a new Thank line. You. Yes, all new yeah. stuff. I'm going to be coming out with it soon. If it's not already, all that stuff will be live. And you can check out my channel for that. Check out the video. Check out the yep. channel. Check out the build. All that stuff. Yep. Bodie Vision. So, yeah, guys, this is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it. It's just paint. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks again. All right, man.